Big news for all you lab golf putter lovers out there, including myself, the Mez One Max has dropped. We're going to take a quick look at what the company's offering. Hey, everybody, Brian Z, PGA professional for Golf Intel, and today's video is going to be a quick one. We just want to go over the announcement from Lab Golf that they just dropped the Mez One Max putter, which is really cool because it's it's going to solve a couple of different issues I think the company was having in uh, in its lineup of putters. I am a personal user of this putter in professional events. Uh, I do believe in the lie angle balancing technology. If you haven't uh, been aware of this, it's something really cool. And I think it's going to really, really keep catching on. And I think you're going to see other companies kind of veer towards that if they're allowed to with the patents. So let's take a quick look at the site. Um, and I'm going to get my face out of the way here. So the um, the Mez one was super popular when it dropped this year. And it's getting a ton of traction that you can tell by how long it takes to order a custom one. So now they have the Mez one versus the Mez one max. And um, what they're what they're showing here is uh, a 20 percent larger head. So one of the reasons and I'm using the directed force myself, um, I like the forgiveness of it way much, way more than the Mez one. I, I like the look of the Mez one head. And if you haven't seen our other videos going over all of these putters, uh, please check that out uh, on this channel. But the Mez one head, especially coming off the directed force, looks super, super small. So this one is 20% larger. And if you read the text here, um, it's almost as forgiving as the directed force. I think they're really trying to get away from the directed force because it is big and ugly. It's this one in the background here. And um, I am absolutely putting my uh, Mez one Max putter on order. Um, because I felt like it was a little bit small and they've got some cool custom options here. I'm going to go over with you real quick. Um, so again, very forgiving, almost as forgiving as directed force, which, you know, honestly, you don't need a putter that forgiving. It's so huge um, and is available in standard length arm lock and broomstick builds. So let's look. Um, let's look at uh, we're going to go right to the custom options, which is really cool. They've they hinted at this these custom options coming that you're going to see here in a second and really did a nice job in um, uh, getting this done. So Mez one max uh, custom, uh, not a cheap putter by any means. If you are interested in one of these putters, I am an authorized retailer of lab golf putters. So you can send me a messaging. I will get you better pricing than anywhere else. And uh, so here's, Here's, um, we're looking at the 360 version. A um, couple, uh, and I'm going to show you the coolest uh, custom option that I think they introduced here. Uh, so you can see the head looks almost exactly the same. We're going to see a little bit different weighting down here. But if we go uh, start filling some of this stuff out, um, putting style standard. Now your color, your color, they are doing different colors. Look at these different colors down here. They've got a, um, the black, the blue, orange, uh, platinum, which this one is going to be in my bag, uh, blue. Uh, let's see what else they have here. Um, the orange, platinum, red, cappuccino, blue, black. Um, so really cool color options. I don't think I'm going to go crazy on this. Uh, I'll probably go with that platinum color. This looks to be the cappuccino, I think. Um, and they haven't done a great job with, it, with these images just yet. Um, these are the, this is all we're getting from an image standpoint. Um, so, uh, very, very fresh, uh, stuff here coming from the company. So you can choose your color and then wait till you see this. So we can just say, uh, let's say we're going to do a custom shaft length. We're going to go, you know, 34 and a half line angle. We'll go 69, uh, grip selection. Uh, they're doing the, um, look like they may have switched up the, uh, press 3.3 uh, three degree, uh, which is the one I use. I like the bigger, fatter grip, but they're going with a smooth option now. Now, here's two things. They greatly expanded the alignment marking options. So thin line, thick line, blank, T mark, uh, which is cool. I like that. Um, this, this horizontal uh, vertical line here means a lot to me. I think there's a great value in that in getting that putter square. 
And then head weight. This is the coolest part. The other thing I did not like about the Mez 1 was the weight. I like a heavier putter. And it felt too light to me. The directed force feels nice and heavy. This one, you now have the option. They're going to weight it accordingly. Standard, heavier, or lighter. So I will be going with the heavier one for sure. But that is solving two big issues. The forgiveness of the putter uh, along with the head size and the weight of the putter being uh, too light before they have solved that. So they are obviously, we're thinking along the same line and then you can select your head cover and your custom build. So um, this is an early uh, early view of what's going on here and um, probably gonna be huge. I, I'm, I'm willing to say that this putter is probably going to outsell the, the Mez one itself. Who knows, time will tell. They're a little, they're just now accepting orders for the Mez One Max. And again, if you want to place that order, uh, it would be appreciated if you go through me. I can get that custom for you uh, or stock at great prices. But this is going to be a cool putter. I'll do another review video when it comes in. I'm going to go with a, a very upgraded shaft in this next putter. So hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and if you're a lab golf lo lo putter lover like I am, go ahead and put some comments in here on what you liked, what you didn't like. Are you going to switch? Are you not going to switch? And why haven't you yet? It's the only putter that absolutely stays square by itself. And uh, we're going to see you in the next video. Appreciate you watching and talk to you soon. Bye.